Greatest honor. He's an easy winner in the Holy Bull. And here he comes now. Greatest honor. Finding his best ride right when he needs to. And he's going to run down, drain the clock to win the Fountain of Youth. Hello, everybody. Back in the paddock again, the new paddock here at Churchill Downs. I'm Mike Welch with the Daily Racing Forum. Uh, Kentucky Derby Clocker Report brought to you by Spendthrift Farm, the home of five-time reigning champion sire Into Mischief, who happens to be the sire of uh, Leslie's Rose, the Ashland Stakes winner, who we're going to talk about later in this broadcast today. Uh, she will look to give her sire back-to-back -back victories in the Kentucky Oaks following pretty mischievous, pretty mischievous victory in the race last year. And Leslie's Rose was one of three potential Oak starters to work here today, but we're going to start off with the one Kentucky Derby worker of the morning, and that was Anna Marie. Anna Marie went five furlongs, worked in company with a stable mate, a three-year-old, stakes placed a couple of times, but a sprinter uh, named Agu. And with that sprinter, he went quick, showed some surprising speed, Anna Marie, today, considering uh, his running lines. Went 35 for the first three-eighths of a mile uh, on even terms with Agu and then pulled away at the end, opened up about a four-length advantage coming to the wire, one set down uh, to finish. Finished up the five ace in 59 and one. The track was on the quick side this morning. We had a lot of fast works all morning long today. Uh, he galloped out just okay, six furlongs in 12 and four, eased up seven eighths of a mile in 127 and three. As I mentioned, we had uh, three potential Oaks workers this morning. And the most notable one was Ashlyn winner Les Leslie's Rose, who appears to come out of her very impressive victory in the Ashlyn, uh, doing extremely well. I like what I saw from her this morning. Uh, she won an easy half mile. She had Irod Ortiz up in the uh, in the irons. She she went off slow, 25 and three for the opening quarter. Finished well, 24 for that last quarter, 49 and three on my watch for her, her half mile. But it was the gallop out that was terrific. Went out uh, five ace in 102, and then. Got even, it looked like she got even quicker as she went around that turn, pulled up after three quarters in 14 and one. Not talked to Todd Pletcher since the work, but I got to believe he's all smiles after Leslie's Rose's performance here over the track this morning. Todd also sent out uh, a team of Candied and Scalable. Now, Candies is on the AE list, probably not going to get into the Oaks, but keep an eye on both of these when they run back, because I like what I saw from them this morning, too. They were quicker going in company, a lot quicker than Leslie Rose. They went 24 and 1, 47 and 4, with Candy slightly best uh, coming to the wire. And they also galloped out extremely well. A minute and two fifths, eased up three, a full three quarters in 113. Also for the uh, Oaks, Tappet uh, Janelle work. She went solo. Uh, she won a half mile in 49 and 3, finished up in 24 and 3. Did it, did it easily, galloped out okay, 102 and 4 eased up three quarters in 116 and three. Now the Oaks is shaping up as a pretty good race, aside from the Derby, which we know is gonna be spectacular as always. And this Oaks field, a lot of very talented fillies in here, very well matched fillies, and fillies that, from what I've seen in their training, are doing extremely well coming into the race. Not only Leslie's Rose, Ways and Means we've talked about, just FYI had a brilliant work here this week. Tarifers look good to me in the morning. Torpedo Anna is doing well. So I'm really looking forward to the Oaks, uh, the post position draw. They're going to draw the races Saturday night. Obviously going to be an important uh, factor in both races where some of these key contenders draw. So that will be Saturday night here during the races at Churchill Downs. Uh, with all the works going on, didn't get a, a chance to see a lot of the gallopers this morning. Uh, the ones that caught my eye quickly again, Encino, who has caught my eye every day out here. Resilience comes out later than the rest of them, so uh, I got to watch him, and he's looked good since that work uh, the other day. And Dornock has uh, impressed over the last few days, just to mention a few. So tomorrow, the action's really going to pick up here. Uh, fierceness is going to work tomorrow morning. I'm guessing at the 7.30 break, it's going to bring a lot of a cr <laughs> The crowd's going to be out here, I'm sure, to see the Derby favorite work. The weather, I think, is going to cooperate now. It looks like the rain that they had forecast for Friday is going to hold off till at least the afternoon or Friday evening, which is good. We have a whole bunch of Oaks workers tomorrow coming, too. And then Saturday will be the big day for all the Derby horses. There's a lot of them that are going to get over this track for the first time. Looking forward to see them, too. So uh, keep it right here. A little over a week to go before the Derby. We're going to be right here with you, uh, right straight through the Kentucky Oaks 23, uh, 24, the Kentucky Derby 24. The best coverage is right here at DRF.com.